Couching is an embroidery technique where one fiber is held onto your base embroidery fabric with tiny tacking stitches. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a simple version of couching and give you ideas for when to use it in your next embroidery project. Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pajagi, and embroidery. Couching is a good opportunity in embroidery to be able to use fibers and other materials that you wouldn't necessarily be able to stitch with regular needle and thread techniques. Couching involves taking that fiber or some kind of material, laying it on top of the thread, and then holding it on with tiny stitches. So the materials that could be used could be things like other embroidery threads, but it can also be things like chunky yarns or ribbon or even strands of metal. So for example, in gold work, that is what is used. It's strips of metal that are stitched down and laid on top of the fabric. So this can be used anywhere that you want a line in your embroidery. So for lines, outlining shapes, for lettering, for stems on flowers, that can all be something that's couched down. But then there are other variations of couching that can be used to fill in shapes. So there are a lot of different ways to couch things down and different variations, but I'm gonna show you today how to do just a simple line of couching. You can see in this house embroidery, I've used couching to do the border on that roof. And I've also used couching for this dark red border around the doors. So for this sample, I'm using a dark orange thread and I'm gonna have it tacked down by a light gray thread. So the orange thread is able to come up through the fabric, so I am securing the ends on the back. If it was thick, I would just have it laid on top. So I lay the orange thread and then I hold it taut with my left hand while I take tiny stitches with my right hand. The stitches go across the thread perpendicularly. Keep the stitches even and equal distance apart. In this sample, they're about 3 eighths of an inch apart. If you're having trouble putting the needle in and bringing it back up in one stitch, then feel free to use the stab method where you put the needle in, pull it through to the back, and then bring it back up to the front in a separate motion. At the end of the line, I take both of the threads to the back of the fabric and finish them off. So there it is. The orange thread is being held on by the tiny gray stitches. Have fun playing with couching and using all different kinds of materials that you can't stitch with in the traditional way. For more embroidery ideas, tutorials, and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.